Hello fellows, it's full twine hour soon and for tonight's full twine hour I'm thinking of pre-dinner even if it's supposed to be 9 p.m. but it's summertime so we can dine a bit later and I thought about Daos of course when we think about Daos we think about big vintages that are drier in style than other ports and also have such a big backbone and longevity they even make it through lesser vintages or single quintas but also those rhymes with progress with initiatives we know them for their optima toni and now it's a surprise rosé which i actually didn't know about another surprise came from the fact that it was the only one in my tasting series that had a real cork and not a stopper so this intrigued me and made me think that maybe it was another kind of rosé especially when you take a look at the color you can notice it's more of a coral hint a medium coral salmon hint with some orange hues some amber hues of course very clean very bright crystal clear and the nose is quite intriguing because we have some yodin, we have something herbal not balsamic but more of a leafy character with aromatics and then come the fruit with strawberry with raspberry with some crunchy cranberries and spices and there's some coriander some um, coriander seeds as well things like are coming out when you let it breathe and actually when i tasted it like uh, some days ago it was a bit restrained and now it's getting out all its personality and on the palate mm. I would situate it between a medium dry and medium sweet. I'm not actually on the medium sweet, I'm more on the medium dry side in terms of filling. Uh, even there's sugar there and um, acidity is medium, but it gets a fresh filling combined with the phenolics. Remember what we said in a previous episode that the rosé port, the pink port, was meant to catch all the fruit from the red varietals of the Douro without getting the tannins. We're not actually on tannins, but we have phenolics and they have a bitter, like zesty, like, you know, bitter marmalade um, filling. And alcohol is generous, but it's still integrated. The texture is very lean. Um, it's very focused. It has a backbone. Indeed, this wine is sourced from grapes from Quinta de Bonfim, which is the main facility of Daos and Quinta Signora da Ribeira and um, you can feel that backbone that you get in the Dow's reds, either vintage or wooded ports. The finish is very spicy, you get all this peppery, uh, like pink pepper, like coriander seeds, oriental spices, fruit is coming with layers of red fruits and then you get again this leafy herbal touch and the salivating savory yodi. Well, this is why I thought to pair with something quite um, intriguing to the sardinhas, sardines, uh, because in Portugal we like sardines in many, many ways of cooking, but this is really classic sardines uh, in a, in a, in a, in a um, olive, just olive oil, just virgin olive oil, and with some toast, some crackers, because you get, of course, your dean, you get a fatty, the unctuous, um, character of this fish it's a blue fish a blue skin fish so it's really uh, yodi and very um, it's filled of personality and character um, and uh, yeah let's give it a taste because um, I did a pairing previously and I really found that interesting mm. What's interesting is the marriage between the seed, the yodin character and of course the texture which is um, firm and this will digest the alcohol and the phenolics of the wine and on the finish you'll get on the fruity and spicy um, feature of the wine and of course if you get some crunch crackers you'll get more texture. Another idea would be uh, well, my favorite nuts with the pili nuts 
and one of my favorites too, which are the hottest and the spiciest, is the uh, Chiang Mai chili lime. Uh, and it's a mix of plenty of uh, spices and um, some cafe lime and um, um, a touch of coconut, a touch of uh, paprika, cayenne pepper and so on. So this is very, very challenging to pair and when you have this in a, in a snack or pre-dinner. And um, what's interesting is that uh, sugar, even if there's not too much sugar in the pot, um, will really um, integrate and smoothen the hot character of the nuts. And what remains on the finish is a lot of aromatics, a lot of herbal scents and spiciness and this touch of uh, paprika, of um, a cayenne pepper that you can sometimes find on this rose pot. Yeah, so very interesting. I was very surprised by this rose pot from Daos. Um, I just um, recall you that this is a, a firm that was built in 1798 by Bruno da Silva. So this is quite interesting too because it's not the same way as British merchants came to Portugal but a Portuguese merchant actually got to England and there is where he, he merged with Cossens and then it became Dow.